actually I'm actually I'm actually I'm actually I'm just gonna put this on the, the blooper reel. <laughs> I'm a little afraid right now. <laughs> you should be. She scares me. <laughs> I may have to. I may. I may. I may put this right in the middle of the video, <laughs> like that clip, like you do. So we'll see what happens. All right. Okay. So, um, a, uh, we're walking right about to speed, right? Okay. And B, uh, so, act like you're happy to be here. I'm so happy. <laughs> <laughs> so we are back with a brand new episode of Walking and Talking with Tim. And my super special crazy guest today is Ashley Owens. Am I not supposed to bump into you? You told me I shouldn't, <laughs> but I feel like this is the only way to do it. And it's <laughs> at, wait, 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 I get this right. Ashley Owens, networking concierge. That's correct. You got it. So so this this woman is a phenomenon. And we'll get into all that. We'll get into all that in a minute. But, but the first minute, um, I want to take and... Let the, let's let the muffler go by. The first moment I want to take and let Ashley tell you guys what her business is all about. Hi, I'm <laughs> Ashley Owens, <laughs> the networking concierge. I'm kind of famous, if you couldn't tell. I'm on Tim Jennings walking and talking with Tim, so I'm pretty much a big deal now. Um, <laughs> you talk for a living. I do. I talk for a living. I am the person that goes to events on behalf of my clients. So, for example... I have a white glove service. That white glove service is I network so you don't have to. So my clients hire me to go to events. I go on behalf of them as an extension of them. And then I also speak at conferences on the topic of networking. I'm a temple professor. So I, I go yeah. and I teach at temple, a personal branding. Nice. Adjunct instructor. If I say professor, they get mad, but adjunct <laughs> instructor. Um, but my kids call me Professor Owens, which I'm like, that's weird, but at the same time, kind of cool. Um, <laughs> If I could do it, anybody It's a could nice do it. distinction. It's very nice. Um, but I, I specialize in networking. So I network so you don't have to. And I go to events on behalf of my clients. Keep it simple. Keep it moving. Ah, there you go. Yeah. That's my line. Yeah. Keep moving, right? <laughs> so so let's just, we're going to jump right into you because that's it. what this is all about, right? Gross. Okay. I know. She, she loves this. Um, <laughs> so you are from North Jersey. Yes. Don't tell people that. <laughs> you told me the name of the town. Oradell. Say it again. Oradell. 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 Yeah. I'll, I'll never remember that, but she said it's no. near Hackensack, so... It, I mean, Hackensack's kind of tragic, but... Um, <laughs> yeah, but everybody knows what it is. I mean, that's probably not it's, a good it's, thing. It's very recognizable, and there you go. So, okay. so Hackensack, you eventually made your way to Philadelphia. I did, yeah. Um, and in Philadelphia, you spent eight years there. I did, yeah. And eight glorious, you, wonderful years. Glorious, wonderful yeah. years where, right. you, where you actually built this amazing network of people... That now is, you know, your... My blood. My lifeblood. Yeah. The, it's it's my, the treasure of your life, right? My network saved my life. They were the best thing that ever happened to me. So. And I was going to get into that. So, ah. so tell, t tell that story. So uh, right in between the pandemic and um, uh, right, right before the pandemic, I ended up separating from my ex-husband. And then I ended up having the for the first time in about maybe a decade I was by myself. <laughs> and I didn't tell you this story, but that, this is a good story. That's, that's things. Oh, God, it was awful. And plus, well, it might have been good. It was good. It was very wonderful. For the soul. Self reflecting, yes. and I was able to take some time for myself and not like, I don't know, look on the burn inside. out, like look, at, look in the mirror and not be like, oh, you're what so pretty, really like maybe about? you need to work on something. What am yeah. I really about? <laughs> Read some self help books, it's fine. Anyway, I, uh, I ended up having to move in with my sister and. At the time, right before I moved in with my sister, I needed health insurance. I didn't tell you the story. Okay. I needed health insurance. And I didn't tell anybody I was getting divorced because I'm an Irish Catholic. Nobody should know my business. <laughs> and yet that was the first mistake. And yep. so um, I reached out to a few people and said, hey, I'm still looking for health insurance. And I think the news had gotten around a bit. 14 phone calls, three text messages. Who can I make the introduction to? What do you need help with? Yeah. And it was like, oh, my network won't let me fail. And there that was, whew, that was it. They saved my life. And it was just knowing that they were around to help. Yeah. And um, people like Justin Deal, who yeah. was the first person to give me, he went over to me after <laughs> he heard the news. He goes, what do you need? <laughs> we have a spot for you in the basement. I'm like, I'm not homeless, Justin, <laughs> but I appreciate it. He's and a big help to a lot I, of people. I am a big fan of Justin. Anyway, um, the, the network never let me fail. And then I ended up moving to... Austin, Texas, because it was the tech hub, which is pretty much where I thrive, and a lot of tech companies will hire yeah. me to do their events. And I <laughs> lived in Austin, 
went down the dog park and I was the most impressive person in that dog park. <laughs> so I'm like, maybe I should leave this dog park. And so I ended up in Dallas in a four bedroom home with a backyard and two dogs. And I'm the happiest I've been in a while. So it all worked out. And now I've got hired by a client that I'll be doing about 20, 25 events for, <laughs> close a couple more deals and I'll be traveling all over the goddamn country. All right, so let's let's zip back. Oh, sorry. Let's go backwards again. Okay. You know, okay. shout out to Justin. Love him. Hey, Justin. Um, and let's talk about, you talked about, you said um, you're Irish, Catholic. German. Irish, German, and Italian. Italian. Right? It's just this all the time. <laughs> it's like Clash of the Titans, we said, right? Yep. So, 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 all right. So, and, and you also told me that um, your sister. Uh, yeah. Colby, you're Colby. right close with. Yes, very, very close with. Hey, so, Colby. So Colby's, Colby, Colby's your girl, and she's got two kids. She lives in Virginia, uh -huh. and you like I'm sure you visit her. Super ant life, yes. And, and we talked about it. I, said, I, I called that. I said, you're probably the super ant. Best ant. Best yeah, got to okay. love that, right? Yep. So so that's fun. So so what's that part of your life like, you know, you know, when it comes to, like, your sister and your relationship with her? Yeah, my life with my sister is absolutely extraordinary. I have... My sister is better than all of us. <laughs> I'm just letting everybody know. Colby is the best out of anybody I've ever met in my life. She is the most giving, the most caring, um, the most intuitive. She's got two great, great, solid kids. And she's got a husband that she loves, and he's awesome. And I hope so. Listen, I mean, <laughs> it's, 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 we don't know sometimes. And uh, <laughs> she she's just, in, I just love her dearly. And so Colby was a huge, huge, huge part of how um, how I was able to succeed throughout this entire situation and it worked out really, really well, really, really well and I was able to come out stronger because of it. So Giddy my up. sister is my best friend. All right, so we talked about what's the coolest thing about you. So we, <laughs> I do know this. So okay. you were a film major, right? I, did, I had a mass communications degree with a minor in film. Yes. Right. Yep. And you were, you were a theater girl. You uh -huh. were an athlete. <laughs> Shocking. You were a theater girl. You were an athlete. You did all that fun stuff, right? So which is, which kind of explains a lot, right? So... I, I thought I thought to myself, the athlete thing makes you really competitive, and yeah. the theater thing gives you all this creative juice, you know, and that kind of stuff. So makes you kind of fearless because you don't necessarily feel like like making fun of yourself or being um, yeah. being self deprecating. Like there's yeah. uh, you, it, there's a crap, there's a skill that you get from being able to to read a room and to also be able to navigate through a difficult conversation, which allowed me to do to, to do better what I do now. So that at a very young age was very helpful. So you, so it would be your opinion that, you know, the whole, the whole thing you went through, all that you went through, you went to yeah. King's, King's College, College, yeah, right? Yep. All of that, mm -hmm. all intertwined, all wrapped up, all helped out to get you where you are today. Oh, very much so. I, even, even through like the, the lowest points of my life, I would do the exact same thing again because of where I'm at right now. I wouldn't change a thing. Wouldn't change a thing. No, I don't care how hard it was. I wouldn't change a thing. I, to get me exactly where I am right now is the best thing that ever happened. So, so... What's the what's the, the the dumbest thing that you ever did? Okay, so dating in your thirties isn't great. Um, so I accidentally, and I say this with all of the truth in my heart and humility, it's the worst. I accidentally, first of all, when you do what I do, you sometimes you I can't guess, turn off. Just a little bit. There okay, you, go. you can't turn off <laughs> being in that ring. She's all amped up. And be, it's She's all amped up. Bay and now we're in concierge and like learning about this person like <laughs> genuinely and then like having a, a, a social life um and so <laughs> with somebody who thought he needed to pay for my time and in <laughs> hindsight i probably should have taken the money because i was broke at the time however i don't think it was that kind of date so <laughs> yeah that was so i i mistook you missed a few red flags they, missed, along the way there. I mean, I don't know what I'm doing. I can talk to you <laughs> and to random people professionally, but when it comes to my personal life, I'm dumb. I have no idea what I'm doing. So that was fun. So that's um, incredible. That was the dumbest thing I've ever done. I just missed all the flags that I teach everybody to pay attention to. But God exactly forbid I get right. My personal life, I can't do it. Well, you know, everybody's allowed one <laughs> major like what the f that I just do. I mean, so. <laughs> and you did it. And the, the, okay, the screw up there was I didn't take the money. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Uh, I, told, I, I said to you, I said, you know, do you just want to have a conversation? Because we can, we can do that. And I can talk to you for money. That's what I do for a living. I mean, I at talk this point, to people. At this point, I might as well start charging for that. <laughs> I'm a great conversationalist. And All right, wait, wait, wait. So let's go. talk about the cool stuff. Oh, okay. What makes you cool? And we, and we talked about the fact that you worked with 
You worked in New York City. I did. I was. And, uh, let's start at the bottom first because you worked for Barbizon. Oh God! Don't in the bring beginning that of so your gross. career. That's so gross. Don't in the beginning of him throwing it out the worst. there. <laughs> uh, you were. <laughs> It's the worst part of my life. I hate it so much. I think every single model has PTSD from that awful woman that ran it. Oh my God. The cool part about what I used to do, I used to be a celebrity personal assistant for yep. Mary Louise Parker and then um, Tony Bennett's son in New York City. And you said you got to meet Tony a couple times. Eh, it's fine. Yeah. So, he's just, he's an old he's guy. A nice guy. He's a nice guy. He's a nice guy. He's just an old guy who's stuck in his waist. That's fine. I, I like watching him. He's cool. He, yeah, he, he's he, a cool guy. He's a cool guy, and I, I was right when he was working with Gaga, so uh, I, I didn't get a chance cool. to Did see that. Her? No, no. They Come were, on! It was like their first when he was doing the duet album, and they were doing the Zen of Bennett on Netflix when Netflix was well, just coming out. I was there for the Tribeca how'd you Film not Festival. Get in there for I, that. The Tribeca Film Festival. I was there, but I wasn't there with um with Gaga. You're like, excuse me, I'm supposed to go in there right now. I tried so hard. <laughs> God, I tried so hard. Yeah, couldn't finesse my way in. Next time. Next time, guys. Um, so, so now. Yeah. Now let's let's fast forward to to, to right now because you got so much going on. Yeah. Listen, I've been watching you for years. I we actually we just talked about this. So, oh God. I I discovered you on the internet just like most people discover me on the internet. Um, and I thought, wow. This girl's pretty awesome, right? Aww. And I watch your videos and I always say to myself, I, I actually just messaged you recently and said, why aren't you in comedy? I don't understand. I, I'm trying. If I put more stuff out, someone will pay me money to just talk stupid to people. <laughs> if you weren't doing this. I'm doing this networking thing on the side. I'm really trying to be a star. No, like it's just one of those things where I found, <laughs> I found a way to One more it day. <laughs> one more day. <laughs> Listen, too much tequila and then karaoke is going to happen, but you gave me water instead. This is your fault. Exactly right. Cool. All right. So I don't even remember where I was going with uh, that. You said, um, I don't remember either because there's a really big dog that looks. See what happens when you're with her? It. I'm completely lost. No, 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 no. It's where we met. So oh. I got it. Ding. So <laughs> dog, squirrel. I know. Anyway. So, and and then we finally met in person at, <laughs> at, at Riverwinds in West Effort. I because was at a wedding. You were at a wedding. And I just happened to be there. Mm -hmm. Actually, I was, I was at the party from the wedding. Okay. Because uh, um, I didn't go to the wedding. Anyway, so my wife and I are there, and I go, hey, Deb, that's that girl Ashley Owens I was telling you about. I don't know how he recognized Let's me. Let's go over and say hello. So we go over, and you're like, who are you? No. And then you, and she's out there dancing and boogieing and getting crazy. I was off the clock. You were off the clock. Drinking. And, and you were off the chain. So you were, you were, you were, you were a little... I was you know, drunk. You had I a couple. Drunk. You had a couple of drinks, and it was hysterical. <laughs> like it was. It because was like, as soon as it clicked, I'm like, hi. <laughs> hi. She's like, hi. I, I, I'm not usually like this, but uh, <laughs> I can't do this right now. But I promise I'll do this when I'm when I'm ready and able. Uh, so that was our first in-person encounter, and oh I will never so forget it because it was just hysterical. Oh, Absolutely hysterical. Oh, I remember that. It made me laugh so hard. Oh. So much fun. So now, what can you tell us about what's going to happen next for you? Oh, next for me. So, Ashley, uh, my, my, my networking concierge business is taking off. I am Hard to believe. Yeah, I'm taking on clients <laughs> on, I am training teams. So I'm typically training teams in between, I've got 25 events to go to this year. I'm adding on more events with different clients. So if you've got a conference, you need uh, somebody to go to on behalf of you to network. If you need somebody to train your team to work the booth, if you've got... A sponsorship opportunity and you need additional people to manage the event that you're hosting I'm on top of it so here's she's the thing. your girl she's yeah I am your girl the only problem is though is that because <laughs> I am one person if you've got a really? date in mind I know I got a scale. It's good to know you don't think you're two or three listen I got a scale and I, God, I gotta train somebody to be me and there's not enough therapy to go around to train somebody to be me it's a lot um, but the goal is, is I want to be able to book, be booked out. I'll be doing, I'll be, a book is coming out at the end of the year. Ooh. So I'm writing that book. And then I will be continuing to putting out content about uh, around networking, tactical tips and practical takeaways. The biggest thing you can expect from me this year is that I will be bringing everybody on these trips with me. So you can really effectively network at bigger events like conferences and um, and if you're a speaker and things like that. So I'm in. all day. But yes, that is the white glove service and then the one-on-one -on -one, uh, coaching is called a networking audit. I take all of the activity that you're doing around networking. I either trim the fat or add on to. 
that's a three month commitment. And then that way we work together to make sure your networking is top notch. So. Giddy up. So if people. <sighs> and speaking engagements. Oh God, I speak at things too. <laughs> I, go, I come hang out with your teams and I talk about networking, but um, I, I, I have a couple keynotes coming up. So if you just want me to come and hang out, just give and me listen a call. to you talk. I've been walking forever. <laughs> So if people want to get a hold of you, how do they do that? Oh, um, Ashley at AshleyAssists.com. Uh, my LinkedIn is Ashley Owens dash networking concierge. Um, my phone number, I'm not going to give that away because that's <laughs> late night calls I don't appreciate. Um, but you're welcome to DM me. I'm here. I'm available and willing and able to chat about what pro uh, project you've got coming up. Um, what event that you need assistance with and I'm here to be I'm here to be you at those events So make sure you reach out to me soon because again these events are packing in this year and we'll piling up. piling up and I want to make sure that I get to you and uh, It all works out. So yeah, that's right. me. if you haven't connected with her, it's an absolute must. I am so funny <laughs> <laughs> I'm so funny on the internet <laughs> watch her videos So listen, well, well, thanks for being on. Yay! This is a big deal. This she came all the way six, up from Texas to do this. Six months to put together. She didn't come up just for me, but she did kind of come for me. Anyway, so this is great. I really appreciate it. Thanks, buddy. And all you guys out there, keep on walking. Keep on moving. Follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and LinkedIn. Check it out. YouTube coming soon. And we will see you next time on... Come on. Walking, walking and talking with Tim. We got, we got a point. Walking and talking with Timothy. <laughs> That's it. Walk and talk with Tim. Peace. Talk and talk and talk, talk and tap talking, with Tim. Talking and walking. Talking and walking walk with Tim. Walking and talking. Good Tip walk. tap Tim. Say goodnight, Gracie. Goodnight. Bye, Gracie. <laughs>